the No Fake channel, checking in. On this episode of the Supplement Review, I am going to be dissecting one of the many testosterone boosters on the market. Today from Roar Ambition, I have their Prime Male, and I'm going to go through the weeds on this thing, top to bottom, soup to nuts, to help you decide if this is something that's worth your hard-earned money or if it's just smoke and mirrors. Now, if this is your first time to the channel, you are in luck. My 40th birthday is coming up, and if you want to give me the best birthday present ever, give this video a like and hit that subscribe button. Now, we all know if you go online, if you go into a GNC, if you go into a Walmart, there are so many purported testosterone boosters on the market. And frankly, many of them are just selling you the sizzle and not the steak. Well, Roar Ambition likes my channel. They know we do honest reviews, so they sent me this bottle to review. So we're going to get right into it. Prime male 100% natural testosterone booster, 30 servings, 120 capsules, vegan friendly, caffeine free. It is supposed to enhance an energy and libido, promotes lean muscle mass, and maximizes overall performance. It has 12 powerful ingredients, but does it really? Let's dive in. So, one serving is going to be four capsules. 30 servings per container, and we got right off the top, we have a number of vitamins and minerals that I actually really like. We've got D3 at 4,000 IUs, we've got B6, magnesium, zinc, and boron. Now, all of those are really good for you, and many of those have clinical studies to show that adequate or good amounts of those ingredients lead to good or even improve testosterone levels, especially D3, zinc, and boron. Many of our daily multivitamins, especially the cheap ones you get off the shelf at Wally World, when you buy the bottle by 365 servings at once, those things are absolute junk, and they leave out a lot of the ingredients that um, this thing has. They leave out a lot of the important ingredients that men need, especially as they get older. And clearly, obviously, you want to get as many of those vitamins and minerals in your whole food, right? We want to have a good, great, varied diet of lean meats, deep veggie greens, and all that good stuff. Easier said than done. Another underrated vitamin in here, K2. That is fat soluble. It's known for heart health, blood flow, and bone density. Then we've got D aspartic acid at 1600 milligrams. That is known to help boost your testosterone generation, as well as Korean ginseng extract at 120 milligrams. Not much research scientifically behind Korean ginseng. It's thought to help improve alertness and uh, inflammation. Also, we have lutein at 60 milligrams. That is another antioxidant and something that's going to help boost your immune system. We also have ashwagandha KSM 66. That's 300 milligrams. That is going to bring down your cortisol levels, which overall help you with making sure you try to stay in an anabolic zone as much as possible. KSM 66 is also thought to be a de-stressor. Then we've got nettle root, 160 milligrams. That is thought to help block estrogen production. And again, you really want to focus on your testosterone to estrogen ratios as you get older. So kind of inhibiting estrogen production a little bit with stinging nettle root is the way to go. And then for absorption, black pepper extract at 10 milligrams. So let's talk about um, what I think they're doing right and what I think they could be doing better and talk about cost and talking about if you should take this, how you should take this. But right away, comment below. Do you think that Prime Male is going to help boost your testosterone if you took this for a month or two? I'm always curious what people's thoughts are, and I don't want you to cheat and hear what my thoughts are. Overall, the versions of the vitamins and minerals they put in here are good. Oftentimes with those cheaper Walmart, you know, BJ's uh, Wholesale Club vitamins, you're going to see that they're tablet, not pill form, and those tablets are hard to digest. Oftentimes, those companies use um, very cheap form of vitamins, and even though you think you're getting like 300% vitamin C, you're really not because your body can't absorb it very well. Prime Male, they do use very good forms. They're using the chelated forms of boron. They're using... Um, magnesium citrate, zinc citrate, these are going to be easier for your body to absorb. And it's not what you get into your body, it's what your body can hold on to. And that's why um, I'm actually glad that they're using pills and not tablets. And I think I'm glad that they're using 
good forms of vitamins to show that they're not trying to cheap out. Also, they put in black pepper extract that it's, again, going to help your absorption. So it's all about what your body can hold on to and making sure that it's not just going to go through your system and exit without giving you any of the good stuff. Is prime male going to boost your testosterone? I will tell you straight away, the only real way to know is to get tested. If you've been a subscriber to this channel, you know I always say what gets measured gets managed, and you definitely need to get yourself tested. Um, you can go through a home health. You could go through your primary care physician. You could go through an endocrinologist. But get your blood work done beforehand. Bang out two bottles of this and get your blood work done afterwards, and you can see if there is an improvement. I think a bottle like this, if I had to guess, just based on my non-expert opinion, will raise your testosterone. How much? Probably not more than maybe 5 or 10%. It's going to boost it a little bit, especially for the people that it's going to help the most are the people with the worst diets and not taking a multivitamin, not getting adequate sleep, because this is going to help give your body what it needs to be where it should. If you are looking to boost your testosterone and you want to know about some low-hanging fruit, the easy stuff you can do to make sure that your body is topped off, number one, we all need to fix our diets. Make sure we're getting varied multiple sources of lean healthy meats eating whole eggs getting good healthy fats as well as deep leafy greens easy to say hard to do number two get adequate sleep you want to be shooting for like seven hours ideally eight hours a night but good quality sleep deep sleep where you're you just you're out you're out and that's really 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 where your body's going to heal your your immune system's going to improve as well as your testosterone is going to get boosted number three is to make sure you're taking a good quality multivitamin most people aren't. Most of the ones are just junk. Make sure you're making, going out and actively looking for a top premier quality multivitamin because that's really going to help you get topped off, especially if your diet just isn't where it should be. And number four, if you are looking to try something like this out, absolutely give it a go. Give it a bottle and see if you feel better. Or better yet, use two bottles, get tested before, get tested after, and see what the improvement was. Was there a big bump in your testosterone? I would argue that if you got a 10% bump in your testosterone or even higher, then it would be worth it. Overall, though, I can't actually say for certain without doing the testing. There's a tons of um, male enhancement products on the market, and many of them are smoke and mirrors. This one does have some really good ingredients shown to help boost testosterone individually. So when you put them together, it does make me think that it should help boost your testosterone. There are a few ingredients in here, like the Korean ginseng and the lutein that I'm just not necessarily sold on because of the lack of scientific research. But the boron, the zinc, the D3, that stinging nettle root, as well as the d aspartic acid, yes, absolutely going to boost that testosterone, at least based on clinical studies. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comments below. I'll put links to this. Huge thanks to Roar Ambition for asking me to do an honest review, because that's all we do here is honest reviews. If you came this far in the video, then you and I are best friends. As usual, give this video a like. Hit that red subscribe button for my birthday, please. It's a huge bonus to me, and it's the best birthday present you could provide. As usual, thanks for watching, and don't save anything for the trip back.